Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Well, it appears that the subject matter of whether or not to have a ball fade, temp fade, or a crispy lineup has made its way back into the forefront of this truth of ours. And I want to be clear about something. This is an heathenistic Egyptian custom here. Remember, as we come out of the world and into this truth, we have to cast off the weak nature and the old man. And why is that? Because we're being transformed into the image of Yahweh Shai. If anyone thinks that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is sitting at the right hand of the Father looking like this cat here, you are out of your damn mind, man. And this is a simple matter to comprehend, okay? I'm going to read to you a precept very quickly here. And I have a short that I want to tie in to this particular video because it shows the descent of what has happened to the so-called black man, which is the Israelite man, that has occurred to him here in America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1 through 3, and it reads, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the ways of the heathens. And again, I'm going to say this more than one time. I'm going to say it as many times as the Spirit will allow me to. This is an Egyptian heathenistic custom reading on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Verse 3 is the point. For the customs of the people are vain. I'm going to read it again. For the customs of the heathens are vain. All right. Now, let me come out of this very quickly here. And I'm going to read to you this copyright and or fair use disclaimer. And I'm going to play you that short very quickly. It states here. Copyright disclaimer under the section of 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. An allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, commenting, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. Now, you Israelite men, this is what has happened to you in America, a.k.a. spiritually what's called Egypt. And Sodom as well. I'm going to say this, brothers. You're handsome. You know, you're beautiful. No ditty. All right. The scriptures tells us how beautiful are the feet of those that bring the gospel of the truth. Just loosely paraphrasing. All right. You have to cast off that weak nature, Jake. Stop lining and rounding up your damn head. Let's get right into it. This is what black men have looked like over the last hundred years. In the 1910s, they had a hat and mustache, and in the 1920s, they started to fade away with zero beards. They copied vintage haircuts in the 1930s. In the 1940s, they wore hats again because of the war. They achieved an Elvis-like appearance in the 1950s. In the 1960s, segregation rules in public schools were ended, and that's why they were in hats again. In the 1970s, they looked like Michael Jackson, and in the 1980s, everyone looks like Bob Marley. In the 1990s, the flat ceiling was invented. And in the 2000s, Snoop Dogg's braided hair became fashionable. In the 2010s, this hairstyle that most of us saw became popular. Now tell me which hairstyle was popular in 2020. Now we'll stop there and we'll get right into the scriptures here, right? <clears throat> okay. And you also have to consider something. For those of us, you know, of the nation of Israel, when you run a razor across your face and or your head, this is why we hit, we get these horrific uh, bumps and or irritation because it's, it's not a custom of ours, all right? Let me come out of this here. And you can look more, more of this up in your own time, right? But I wanted to pull it up quickly to utilize um, as a few talking points. And it states this, yes, men in ancient Egypt shaved their beards to wear thin mustaches. And it also has various other talking points, but something else you can do is pull up um, various statues and figures. You know, these men, you know, they, sh they trim their goatees, they line up their beards, they use the razor. And why is that? Because the scripture tells us there's nothing new under the sun. This is an ancient custom and ancient practice. All right. Now let's come out of this here. Let's go right to the scriptures in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Now I want you to keep this in mind. You know, we're all, now that Yahweh Shai has come, you know, we're all considered what? Kings and priests. We're going to be a nation of kings and priests. We should be rehearsing the righteous acts. So this not only applies to the priests, it applies to all the kings, 
all the priests as well. Let's continue. Act, uh, Salak, you're just a little excited in the spirit. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your beards, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beards. Salak, let me say that again. You shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall you mar the corners of your beards. And in that quick video, we saw Jake did all of the above. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5, and it tells us, They shall not make baldness on their heads, neither shall they shave off the corners of their beards, nor shall they make any cuttings of their flesh. And what does that look like today? Is the, is the size of this Jake head not bald? Is his head and his beard not rounded? I mean, it's really simple and easy to comprehend and understand, all right? The scriptures say, let everything be established on two or three witnesses. We got another witness here in Deuteronomy, the 14th chapter in the first verse. It reads, ye are the children of the Lord, your power. You shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. Let me give you an example of what that looks like. The, 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 the Ammonites, the Moabites, so on and forth, so forth. This is a common practice and a custom of theirs. Remember, all these ways were ways of the heathens, okay? Let me come out of this here because we could, yes, trim our hair, right? We could uh, 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 style our hair, if you will. And what do we see this throughout the scriptures? We see it here in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 44, verse 20, all right? We're not saying to walk around looking unkept or ungroomed. It's one thing to trim your hair or to cut it. It's another thing to line up your, the, your, the edges of your head or the edges of your beard. All right. Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 20, it tells us they must neither shave their heads nor let their hair grow long. Instead, they must trim it regularly. All right. It's a regular custom to, to groom yourself, right, to trim your hair, you know, uh, some of us that have longer beards, various sections of your beard may grow unevenly, so you trim it to make it even. However, you might clip the, the, um, the split ends or whatever the case may be, but that's a difference from trimming your beard and styling it and rounding up the edges of it, all right? Okay, pretty simple concept here. And what do we see this again? You see this again here in 2 Samuel chapter 19, verse 24, and it reads, And me, Philboseth, the son of Saul, came down to meet the king, and he had neither dressed his feet nor trimmed his beard. So yes, grooming was a common practice of ours. And again, trimming your beard, that's you uh, 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 clipping those split ends, you know, combing your, your, your hair out, you know, styling it, whatever, but it's not lining it up, all right? It reads on to tell us, nor washed his clothes from the day the king departed until the day he came again in peace. But nevertheless, I wanted to reference that scripture because it shows you that our people did cut their hair. They did style their hair. But lining up and balding the size of your head or giving yourself a skin fade, that's a heathenistic custom, all right? And those of you that don't get it, the scriptures tell us clearly in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32, verse 17, a sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. You'll make all sorts of excuses, come up with all sorts of folly, so on and so forth. And, and if you don't get this simple concept, you, you potentially may not be of the elect because the scriptures in Romans chapter 11, verse 7 tells us what then Israel hath not attain that which it, he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. This is a really simple concept here to comprehend and understand, man. If you're doing this shit right here to your head, you are going off and practicing a heathenistic custom. Hopefully, this was edifying. Shalom.